Hi, I'm Barbara O'Mara, artist, and this is All In, All In Art. Today it's ways of weaving. So things you can use to make a small weaving loom are a frame. So you could use a photo frame. I have a small one here and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Or you could use a, an embroidery hoop with, this is just netting from a fruit. I also have some wool here. I have wool from Donegal and wool from Iceland. You can use some thread. You can use strips of paper if you don't have thread or household string. And this little frame here is going to be made into a loom now. So I'm just using little thumbtacks here. These ones have ends on them, so it makes it easier. And you just space them an inch or a centimeter apart on both ends. And then you just get some thread, tie it around and literally loop it up and down until you end up with a piece like this. Now here I've already woven in some lovely wool. And then I cut some strips of gold paper and I wove them in. So to weave with the paper, you just start at the end and you literally just go under one piece of thread over the next, under, over, under, over, under, over. And you pull it across when you've completed the whole line and it'll end up like this. So to use the wool, I've actually wrapped the wool around a spoon, which makes it much easier to slide across the threads. So in proper weaving, the threads would be called the weft and the warp. So I'm just going to push the spoon under, over, under, over, under, so on, and pull it through. And that's the first line of my wool started. You push it down then to have it as tight or as loose as you want. So you can then change colours. This is beautiful wool from Donegal, sort of mossy green. I have a couple of pieces here I did in the past. This little piece here was inspired by the sea and the sky in the burn. This piece here I did many years ago and it's a lovely mohair wool. And as you can see, that wool there, the flecked wool, is what I'm using in the little hand loom here. So this little piece here I did on a bicycle wheel, took the spokes out and threaded it in the same directions as the spokes would have gone and just went round and round and round. And I also have a piece here that I did on an art residency in Iceland where they have the most beautiful wools. Um, and this was done on the legs of a stool, which was turned upside down. So that would be basically the same principle as this, which I found in a, a bouquet of flowers I received and I kept. So you just start to tie on the first piece here and go in and around and keep going and going and going until you get to the top. So when you're finished to cut off your piece, if you just start here at the end and snip one piece and then tie it in a knot down at the weaving end and do that all along and you'll end up with these little edges here. You can cut them off. I actually like them. So if you don't have thumbtacks, you could use some tape. So just very tightly wind the thread around and just with a piece of tape, just tape it into position and that should hold. And also these little nets that are used for holding fruit are really lovely for putting in little pieces of thread, feathers, little pieces of sticks. This is a piece I did many years ago. And recently I was very lucky to get some samples from a proper professional weaving shed called the Weaver's Shed in Dublin. Um, and you can see the fabulous colours they've used. I also have this lovely collection of wool that I got in Iceland, which is really soft. And uh, the landscape there is very inspirational. So this is All In, All In Art.
Ways of Weaving. I'm Barbara O'Mara, artist. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.